watching our jokes. I don't know nothing. Hello, and welcome to the Daily Decrypt, episode 16. I am your host, Amanda. Today, Bitcoin is $284. Litecoin is $3.08. Ethereum is $0.65. Cents, and Peercoin is $0.35. Cents. This episode of the Daily Decrypt is sponsored by Free Talk Live. In cryptocurrency news, you may have heard that in Kenya, the company M-Pesa has perhaps created the world's most mobile, cell phone-only payment economy. M-Pesa allows Kenyans to send fiat money to one another using in-person tellers to deposit fiat and then withdraw it. A hacker named Michael Buman has been visiting Kenya and has seen the widespread use of M-Pesa in person. Today, Buman announced that he has developed a bot that can work with Telegram or WhatsApp to interface with a BitPesa API to allow the topping up of M-Pesa accounts solely with Bitcoin. Buman has released a video of himself paying a cab driver's M-Pesa account with Bitcoin, as well as withdrawing Kenyan fiat money from a teller, having topped up only with Bitcoin. Buman writes on his website that his software is ready to use right now, but that he feels he can't release it until he addresses perceived legal problems. If you feel that you can help Buman address his perceived problems and get this software released to the world, send him an email at hello at michaelbuman.com. In more cryptocurrency news, SynergyCoin.com has released a new bot, which they hope traders will use to automate their trades for them using popular online exchanges. A trader can employ bots to automate their volume, timed buys and sells, accumulation and order stacking on their behalf. The bots work for burned synergy coins. In more cryptocurrency news, the results of the subreddit Millionaire Makers drawing have come in, and lucky redditor Orgulus Ogre was the winner. Orgulus Ogre, a high school student interested in mechanical engineering, is set up to receive tips in Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Dogecoin, and has received over $1,000 worth of tips from the subreddit as of the last update. Bitcoin PR Buzz reports that the forums at Bitcoin.com are going to host Bitcoin's largest AMA event ever. The AMA will start on November 2nd and will feature guests like Patrick Byrne, Andreas Antonopoulos, Gavin Andreessen, Eric Voorhees, Wences Cesares, and more. Those wanting to ask questions need only register an account at forum.bitcoin.com to be able to participate. And in 3D printing news, researchers at the Netherlands University of Groningen report that they have successfully printed dental implants that are made of antimicrobial resin. This means that custom teeth could be printed out of a material which kills bacteria on contact, greatly reducing the risk that the patient will experience an infection. And in energy news, researchers at Saudi Arabia's King Abdullah University report that they believe they've developed the blackest substance that's ever been created. What does this mean? The blackness level of a substance dictates how much energy it can absorb and emit. This has ramifications for the efficacy of things like solar panels. The team also reports that they hope that this blackest of black substances could also be useful in desalination efforts as well as optical interconnects. Finally, Satoshi Nakamoto was spotted tweeting this bit of wisdom today. And that has been your Daily Decrypt. Big thanks to our first sponsor, Free Talk Live, which is a nationally syndicated radio show which plays every night from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Free Talk Live's hosts have been talking about Bitcoin longer than most cryptocurrency news outlets have existed. And cheers to you all. Oh, what you know, Joe? I don't know nothing. What you know, Joe?